Hola, here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what are their intentions for this connection? Once again, we're asking, what are their intentions for this connection? We will do an extended read on this. We will take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, what are their true feelings about me? We'll also ask, what's next for us? So keep in mind, this is a general reading, may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up because you too be dripping, dripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your job ass on away from it. Thank you to everyone who has purchased Amala Waist Beads whatever the case may be from the store the relaunch is in full effect i have been super busy i appreciate all of the support so many crystals that sold out so many that are back in stock now like selenite we have tourmaline quartz back in stock tiger's eye back in stock and then i have about seven or eight new ones well probably about 10 or 12 new ones that'll be debuting this week so keep your eyes peeled for that you can find the link to the store link down below in the description box please go check it out you don't have to buy anything go look at it just give it some energy um yeah thank you guys so much i'm so excited to be back fully well i'm not fully back because i got to bring the magic part of things back so we'll bring magic rituals back where we'll be doing um cord cutting rituals we'll be doing uh protection rituals i will do some love rituals but they will be very few and far between um i'm really trying to cut that out but i do still have some supplies left for that so look out for that as well and then i'll be shifting the store fully over to shopify where everything will be on one site so you guys don't have to go to eighteen thousand sites you know so i'm so excited but we're back and then i have an app coming that's what y'all didn't know i do have an app coming that i've been working on for uh, about six months now so we have an app coming as well so there's a lot of newness coming i appreciate you all's energy please make sure to like comment share subscribe do what you got to do in order to stay updated because there's so much coming and i'm so excited and so thankful for all of you so keep in mind this is a general reading i already said all of that um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find that information in the description box down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just didn't stamp those initials on the back of my name, you can find that listed down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find them linked down below in a list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things, along with a few of my other favorite things. And if you're interested in donating to me or to the channel in any type of way, you can find my cash app, uh, GoFundMe, and all the other links down below as well. There are also ways to donate on the, or in the Etsy store as well. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be optimism. The number 47 breaks down to the first master number 11, master number of love. Choice number two is going to be patience with the number 25 breaks down to seven seven is the number of a seeker that's my life path number and choice number three is going to be sparks with the number four four is all about stability sustenance completion wholeness roundabout a roundabout i'll steal it and no one will ever know i bet y'all don't know what cartoon that came from all right um on the count of three we are going to take our deep breath one two three pick your card is it going to be optimism is it going to be patience or is it going to be sparks i know i want you you're not a secret i want to hide but i can't have you all right i don't know why i'm singing that so universe people who chose optimism you guys drop down in the comments and leave a red balloon the store has relaunched we have sold out we have brought things back there's so much more coming stay tuned i have an app coming 
um pushing everything over to one site uh i got about i probably overall have about 30 more models that'll be coming out but it just takes a while because i'm so 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 super busy but make sure you guys check out the store thank you to everybody who's already supported shared like go over to namaste love light on instagram and you can see some of the reviews of the malas um the charging process of the malas i don't put them in the moonlight and all that it's a very old ancient process that i don't really share it's secretive um but it's powerful it ain't no joke so go over there and check out the instagram like this if it resonates leave a red balloon universe people who chose optimism what are their person's true intentions y'all see me in the bob marley thing hi peace peace up a town down okay let me stop uh, <laughs> what are their intentions for this connection what are their person's true intentions for this connection this connection is new something about this is very new whether it is the emotions the feelings the experience of it all with 47 there's something very very new about this doesn't necessarily mean that the connection is new but there's something about the experience that's new we have the strength card king of wands strength card i feel really good feels good i feel really really good we have the ace of swords what are their person's true intentions for this connection universe we have ooh, okay then we got the knight of cups strumming my pain with my fingers singing okay y'all ever watched that movie original sin i feel like this movie this movie this reading is like that movie original sin you should check that out it's an older movie but it's one of my favorites will of fortune two of pentacles three of pentacles what are their true intentions mm, ten of pentacles Ooh, la, la. bottom of the deck we have the page of wands This person's true intentions are, this person is very smitten with you. I feel like whatever this is, there is um, a natural progression of things that's happening here. I feel really good. But I also feel like this, I mean like me, myself, I feel super, super good. But I also feel like this is one of those connections that something in it you guys have never experienced before and there's something about it where you all are approaching it with a lot of sacredness and not pushing not pulling like i feel like a lot of the things that you may have done in the past you're not doing anymore so like let's say you used to do rituals you're not doing that anymore let's say you would do affirmations or something where you would almost manipulate the energies around connections you're just not doing that anymore you're allowing things to be and it's taken a natural progression and I feel like there has to be a lot of courage because you all are acting in ways that is not typical of your personalities. You know what I mean? Like you guys might be communicating in with so much more depth or you could um, be very open, very honest and extremely vulnerable. And I feel like this connection is really bringing out the best of you, but this person feels that it's bringing out the best of them. And so their true intentions are to maintain that caliber of courage, to maintain that honesty, that openness, that vulnerability. I feel like this is somebody who has a very masculine energy, whether they're a man or a woman, but it is um, someone who through you is able to be in touch with their feminine side. And so this person is behaving a lot more softer maybe than they ever have before in their life and they feel okay like you guys feel very much safe and very at peace and very um comfortable in each other's presence in each other's energy and so i feel like this person wants to shift things and that's their intentions they want to 
shift because I feel like you guys are going from a period of a lot of communication, of a lot of getting to know each other, where you guys have just been taking it slow. You're not in a rush. I feel like this person is extremely attracted to you and i feel like you find this person extremely attractive they're funny they're witty um they're charismatic this is somebody who is a sharp dresser this is somebody who is um just very fun to be around i think and i feel like this is somebody with a lot of passion but also with a lot of heart but this person really wants to ground things and i feel like what's missing here is this ace of pentacles because we go from the two of pentacles to the three of pentacles to the ten of pentacles so i feel like this person may intend to balance things but this person really wants to get things moving because there is a sense that this person doesn't want to lose you like even though you guys are doing things the normal not the normal way even though you guys are doing things with the flow of the universe you're not pushing you're not pulling you're allowing things to happen you're being open you're getting to know each other you're doing things a lot differently than maybe you have in the past and you're taking your time and getting to know one another and i feel like this person wants to maintain that speed but they also want to ensure that you all are progressing into grounding this and you know like really having a solid foundation where you all can get through anything and so this person intends to balance things this person intends to um prioritize you this person pretends uh, pretends this person intends to um solidify this connection we'll get there in the end they they intend to solidify this connection they intend to ground this they intend to stabilize it they intend to you know no matter what's going on in you all's lives all these temporary energies you know where we're you know here there upset happy mad uh sad going here going there you know what i mean like there's so many different temporary energies throughout the day this person intends to be a stable foundation in your life they intend to continue building upon the master number 11 pushing forward pushing through all the while building a sturdy foundation here um with the flow the ebbs and flow of the universe so no matter what happens between you all this person is going to intend to um, begin, I feel like slowly but surely, a little bit here and there, this person is going to begin to give you signs that they plan to have you in their future if they haven't already. I just don't think either one of you all is in a rush and I feel like both of you all are just really good with what's happened, but I do feel like a lot of time has taken place with you guys getting to know each other it's just not typical of you know like in this day and age you meet somebody the next day you married or the next day you boyfriend girlfriend or the next day you sleeping with each other and your feelings is all crazy like everything is so rushed now and something about this is just like take your time and work it slow man. it's just you guys are taking your time to make sure and I feel like you're more sure than you ever, you've ever been in your life. And so this person intends to, to shift things, but as they're shifting slowly but surely and balancing things and ensuring that they're incorporating you into their life and pulling you into the fold of things, that they're grounding it as well. We have the page of, huh, page, oh my Lord, what did I say? Look at this. This person intends, we have the page of wands and the king and queen of cups. This person intends to be your counterpart. They intend to be in love with you. They intend to build with you, to grow with you, to develop with you, to not just be that king of wands by themselves, but to incorporate you into their lives. This person intends to love you. We are going to do an extended read on this. I cannot promise nothing. I can start pulling cards and crazy shit can start happening. So if you want to risk it, come on over there with me. This is so cute. Um, 
we're going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We're going to ask what are their true feel? Well, shit, we already know. What are their true feelings about you? And we'll also ask what's next for you. So if you'd like to join me over to the extended, the link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. Namaste Love Light is one page. The Braveheart Experience is another page. And my personal page is the Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. You can also find me on TikTok, Mystic Butterfly, as well as The Red Pill Pusher. Uh, if you want to get a personal reading with me, I think I already said this. It's linked down below, and life coaching sessions are linked down below as well. Drop into the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a red balloon. And if you don't want to follow me anywhere because you know my crazy ass is lost to, you don't have to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, Tis. So we're moving on, universe, to patience. All right. What are their true intentions? So thank you to everybody who has purchased something from the store, just gone and looked at the store, filled your card up with something from the store. If you haven't yet, please go over there and just don't dedicate some energy to the store just look around it's so dope i have probably about 30 more malas maybe a little bit more that i'm going to debut over the next few weeks um i have an app coming out soon hopefully i've been working on for the past six months i got a lot of things coming so i'm just appreciative of everybody who has donated um energy time money to the channel like in my store it's so awesome you guys be sure to give me a thumbs up for this reading and also drop into the comments and leave a red balloon without further ado what are their true intentions for this connection universe the people who chose patience some of your people may own a ranch or have grown up riding horses ace of swords we also have the Knight of Pentacles. What are their true intentions for this connection, universe? Oh, two cards. Came out like that. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. Uh-oh. What happened? What are their true intentions, universe? Oh, what are their... We have the Harmony card. What are their person's true intentions? Your person is like, oh, time to play chess, not checkers. We have the Knave of Swords. You're all I ever wanted. You're all I ever needed, yeah. So tell me what to do now when I won't you back <laughs> yeah tell them what to do now tell them what to do now <laughs> i feel way too good today we have the seven of wands and we have oh wow look at that i pulled this one out in reverse let's leave it like that two of cups in reverse because i feel like that goes Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> this is somebody from your past that you didn't left. You done left them alone. <laughs> All right, so what are your person's true intentions for you? Um, your person wants you back. Your person, okay, let me start from... So... I feel like this has to do with somebody who didn't realize what they had until it was gone, period. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot of hoopla around this now. So there may have been a lot of healing that you've gone through, a lot of realization that your person has come into. But I feel like it was um, something that you all felt was best for the both of you. So it was amicable in many ways. Maybe you all talked or something about breaking up, letting go, something like that. And you may have even recently spoken after a, a long period of time to where it was just like, 
you guys had a conversation you weren't trying to get back with one another or anything like that it was just like hey you know i was thinking about you thought i'd give you a call something like that i don't feel like there's a lot of ill will here so this isn't like a fresh break and it very well could be a fresh breakup you just don't give a damn but I really feel like there's been some healing that's happened here. And I feel like there's a sense of progression where your person may be dating somebody else or you could even be dating somebody else, but it has a lot to do with somebody is seeing somebody else. But after, you know, um, this realization that your person has come into, your person is missing you. And they're realizing that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. They're realizing like what they had in you. They're missing like how you guys laughed, joked, how you guys just had fun together, traveled together, how you guys interacted together, quite honestly, and how the pieces of your puzzle really fit together. And so your person's intentions are to make moves to you. I feel like your person might be close with somebody in your family. It could be a brother, it could be a cousin, it could be a father. It's a masculine energy though. And your person may do things like go to a party, like find out you going to a party and they go there with your family member or your friend or um they start calling them or hanging out with them or talking to them a lot more and your person is coming into the understanding of how much that they love you they see you right now just being unbothered and again i don't feel like if like if if you're like oh fuck them fuck them this ain't the reading for you i've been getting a lot of that lately even though i say over and over again if it doesn't fit don't force it i've been getting a lot of people to force it like telling me crazy shit like um I usually agree with you, but you missed it on this one. No, nah, motherfucker, I ain't missed shit. You missed it. Like, because it wasn't for you. <laughs> like, I didn't, this isn't a personal reading. I didn't miss nothing. This wasn't for you. And so if, if you're angry or upset or this is not the energy that I feel is for you, quite honestly, this has to do with people who have separated, who have moved on with their lives or and are at peace with it. And so your person sees you in harmony. They see you hanging out. You might've just gone camping or something. Um, you might've just gotten a dog or a pet or you're spending a lot of time with them. Or maybe you just posted a picture like that. Uh, but your person is like paying attention to you. I feel like your person, any kind of way that your person can get close to you, view you, watch you, see what you're up to. That's what they're doing. And that's their intention. Your person intends to put themselves on your path to get caught and by you like to be seen by you when i say caught to be seen by you they, they want to put themselves like your person is purposely manifesting you you might feel this person pulling on your energy they're they're purposely doing their best to put themselves in your path so that you guys cross paths again so that you all talk again that you all communicate again because they feel like they don't have their friend. They feel like they don't have their lover. They feel like they don't have their partner in crime and they want that back. And so I feel like this is going to be a slow progression, like a slow move towards that, because I don't think that you are really concerned about being with anybody right now. And that's exactly why you may even find that a lot of people are coming into your energetic field and your atmosphere because you're not seeking a relationship. You're seeking self. You're seeking harmony harmony within yourself and I feel like a lot of people are going to be attracted to you but your person you and this person have a connection together and it may be something that no matter how many times you guys try it just never works or whatever and I feel like there are a lot of missing pieces to that and one of the missing pieces is both of you all really spending time with yourself getting to know yourselves and getting to know who you're growing into I feel like there's a youthfulness about this an innocence about this um yeah, I want to say somebody's name, but I'm not going to put them on Front Street like that. But um, she just bought a selenite and tourmaline for me. And she was my first relaunch customer. So if you chose this reading, <laughs> you know who you are. Um, I don't even know why I'm thinking that. But yeah, this is this is a situation where your person intends to get their friend back to get you back. And 
they want to put themselves in on your path whatever path you're evolving on uh, elevating on shifting on they want to put themselves on your path so in order to do that though this person has to do some growth and they have to do their own you know um inner introspection they have to look at themselves so um this person really misses like what you all had and the potential of what you all could have become. And I feel like if this person is dating somebody else or somebody's, um, or is in a relationship or something, I feel like this person is like starting to neglect them and starting to pull away from them because even if they like rebound very quickly after you all's connection or something like that, I feel like this person is really pushing away from that other person, realizing that they move too quickly to get into another relationship or move too quickly to get back into the dating scene and that they still have feelings for you and they have to face that. And, and it's not something to where this person sees you and they're comparing you to the other person. This is really them coming into a realization that they, they got to a point where they realize what they don't have anymore. You know, and they're op more open and available to being accountable to that. And also, too, because you are doing your growth and bringing yourself into harmony with really the source of it all, the universe. Um, and when I talk about the universe, I'm not talking about like the Milky Way and stuff. I'm talking about like the, the creator, the, the prime creator of it all. Um This person and you are still connected. And so it would make sense that this person would start to do the same things. But you all have a mutual love for each other. I just think that there's an understanding that it just has never worked out. And I just think you've gotten to the point where you're not trying to make it work, but you, you're you not really thinking about it one way or another. You're very much detached. And that is... um such a, a wonderful place to be where you're not attached to an outcome you're not attached to emotions you're not attached to a relationship or a label or a potential you are very much detached from not just this person in this connection but from everything you're really really focused on yourself and just becoming better but this person intends to move towards you and place themselves on your path uh -huh. So we are going to do an extended read on this. I can't promise anything, but then I'm going to pull a lot of cards. We will ask what are their true feelings about you? And we'll also ask what is next? So if you'd like to join me over to the extended, you can do so by following the link down below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, drop into the comments, leave a red balloon. Check out my store, some dope stuff over there, y'all. And I'm adding some more this week. So excited. Go over to Instagram and follow my store's page, Namaste Love Light. You can follow my personal page, The Red Pill Pusher, and you can also follow the life coaching page, The Brave Heart Experience. On Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. And on TikTok, I have two pages, uh, The Red Pill Pusher and Mystic Butterfly. If you don't want to follow me anywhere, you don't have to. You can get a personal reading, though, by following the links down below. You can also book a life coaching session with me by following the links down below, too. But again, if you don't want to follow me anywhere, you ain't got to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. Okie dokie, smokey. All right, reading number three. Sparks. Psh, psh, psh. We got sparks. What are their intentions? So thank you to everybody who has checked out the store, ordered waist beads, ordered malas, sent donations in. I appreciate you all. You all are so fantabulous. If you haven't yet, please go do so. You can also just jump over to Instagram, see what's happening in the store. The Instagram page for the store is Namaste Love Light. Be sure to give this reading a thumbs up and drop into the comments and leave a red balloon, y'all. All right, universe. People who chose sparks, what are their intentions for this connection? What are their person's intentions for this connection? What are their person's intentions for this connection? Please keep these. King of Wands, as simple and as clear as possible. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Uh-oh. What are this person's true 
intentions. We have the Six of Pentacles. What is this person's true intentions? We have the Seven of Cups that came out in reverse. What's happening with this reading? I didn't even know I was doing reverses today. What are that person's true intentions, universe? Someone stop the world. Queen of Cups. Seems like a moment is coming. I'm Princess of Pentacles. Gonna get you, girl. Shadows of fun. No one around. The star in reverse to interrupt the feelings you stir, babe. Go listen to Maxwell. Stop the world. And Ace of Wands. Imagine if it was Eight of Swords. What the hell? <sighs> okay. Your person person's true intentions. This is a situation where this person was very passionate. And I just feel like initially it was full steam ahead. And this may have felt like something that was very whole and complete and something that would be extremely successful. But I feel like this didn't go where it was supposed to go. Like it had this great potential to be something and i feel like both of you all drowned deep in love together like or so you thought you know i feel like in retrospect you're realizing and i'm gonna get to the question but in retrospect you're realizing that you only received breadcrumbs you only received like bits and pieces of this person and what ended up happening was you ended up really rising in love with this person but you did it on your own like this person didn't follow suit with that and i feel like now you're very remorseful and very angry about this situation because you feel like you were manipulated and so this person's true intentions with you uh, would be on the other side of that there this is something that if this hasn't happened i'd be surprised this person's true intentions were never to be in love with you. This person's true intentions were always to breadcrumb you and to never really move anywhere with you, never to progress with you. This person came along and behaved as though like they presented a representative. This is this is very cruel in a way. But this person is very detached from however they made you feel. So this, I don't feel this person is angry or any, I feel like this person doesn't even think about you like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like this person has really cut the cord. Like they never really were in love. And this person has a way of getting people to believe that they're one way when they're really another. This person may have made it seem that they were open and available for emotions but they're not really and this person is kind of stuck in a very childish very immature behavior it's almost as if this person intended to get you to fall in love with them this you could also be pregnant or could have been pregnant um and I feel as though you went through a lot of situations on your own or or if you haven't yet, I'd be surprised, but you will. You know, this person intends to get you wrapped around their fingers. It's almost like this person gets some type of gratification out of wanting you to be in love with them. They want to kind of almost knock you off your rocker like this person wants to make you act and behave in a way that you normally wouldn't and I feel like this person wants to like they intend to knock you off your pedestal they intend to get you to fall in love with them to get you smitten to get you wrapped around their finger to get you believing in them to get you to see this representative 
for, you know, to see this masked person and then to leave. Um, they intend to shake your world up. They intend, and it's really, and this might be why I don't feel any malice here. Like I want to say it's narcissistic, but I can't truly say it because this was supposed to happen to get you to heal. And I'm not saying like you were supposed to be hurt. And, but what I am saying is like, there's a silver lining with this situation. This person was brought into your life and it's really the universe intended for you to heal beyond something that you may have been seeking validation through others. You may have been um, like vicariously living through others' passions and, you know, like people, you need people to get you motivated. You need people to ignite the spark within you or something like, but it's to get you to do it yourself and to see, you know, how great you are on your own and to really ground you in those passions and to not be so fleeting and not get so caught up in people and what they're doing or what they're not doing. And so this person intends to come into your life for a very temporary time for a limited amount of time they they intend to experience you until they don't want to experience you anymore they intend to do say and be all of the right things they intend to exist as if they're in love with you but they're really not they this person doesn't know what love is but this is like a lesson this this person was like it, they exist to be lessons to people <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, this is a background person who is really in your life to get you to wake up and to see something. But this person doesn't intend to stick around. If you're pregnant, they don't intend to really be there through that situation. But the intention behind this and behind them subconsciously is that the universe intends for you to wake up and to ignite and motivate and and it's funny because you chose spark. So to like reignite the spark within yourself and to not be codependent on others. And I really feel like you may think, well, I'm not codependent, but you are, you are, you are looking for validation. You are looking for, there's something about you that there's some insecurities that lie within you that leave you wide open to the same kind of people that never really see things through. You have a really good time, but it ends as quickly as it started. And so, you know, this is the birth of a new you to where you're being grounded and to where you are needing to love yourself as much. Cause I feel like you have so much love to give, but you have to love yourself as much as you're loving others. And you have to really ground yourself in your own love and stop looking for somebody else to validate you through love. And I hope all of that makes sense, but yeah, so that's that's this person's intentions is just to experience you until they don't want to anymore. And then it's that's it. It it's it's almost like it's not personal. I'm just done, you know? And I feel like this person would be like void of emotion, void and and it blows your mind like how can you not feel anything? And it's it's not like this person is almost robotic. It's, it's strange because I don't feel anything, but this person just moves on. They just move on. And they very well may go back to past things, but this is somebody who just comes in and leaves. There's, there's no real progression here. Even though they present themselves like they're available and they're open and they're, they're not. not to anything permanent. This is a very impermanent person, energy. But this is somebody who's really rocked your world to get you to see what you weren't healing. So this is a great, huge lesson that came with this. And with that, I'm sure a lot of pain, a lot of pain, because now there's interference here to where you just feel stuck and you don't understand. You don't understand what happened. Um, and, and I see why you don't understand because there was no, you know what I mean? No rhyme or reason. It just kind of happened. Not nothing. There, there was nothing that happened that wasn't able to be fixed, but this person didn't stick around to fix it. 
Mm -hmm. So this extended should be interesting. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. Drop down, give me a thumbs up, leave a red balloon in the comments. We are going to ask what are their true feelings about you. And we'll also ask what's next for you all. So if you'd like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. Stores page is Namaste Love Light. Personal page is the Red Pill Pusher. And then my life coaching page is the Braveheart Experience. You can also follow me on Facebook. I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. And then on TikTok, it's Mystic Butterfly and the Red Pill Pusher. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, that's linked down below as is life coaching. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find all of those links down below as well. You don't want to follow me anywhere because you know I'm lost too. You ain't got it, y'all. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. <laughs>